Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and um, today I decided to do a short, simple video in regards to the features and whatnot of the Toyota 86 because I see there's still quite a few people asking how do you turn on the indicator lights? Um, how do you turn on and off the, the rev limiter beeping and how do you set the the red light to come on at certain RPMs and what is TRC what is VSC and yeah what are those functions for and so to basically today I'll be explaining a few of these things and I hope it will increase increase um, your knowledge in regards to to the car and is uh, and its functionalities okay um please excuse the dirtiness of the car because i haven't cleaned it for ages anyways let's get on with it so the first thing i will be explaining is um i'm in the car right now as you can see this is a microphone right it comes with the car standard with this um touch screen buttony deck that that i have in the car it comes with the car i have a 2014 toyota 86 high spec that they call it in south africa so it comes with this um i didn't have the sat nav or the navigation installed but everything else works telephone bluetooth and yeah radio even the cd disc who i don't know who, who uses that anymore but okay uh, yeah, so that's connected to the microphone so I can connect the Bluetooth to the deck and then to the car basically And if you call me I can answer it, but there's gonna be quite a some background noises. So it's good and bad All right, so okay first thing is Sometimes what I realize um, When people wanted to check their fuel, right? They need to start the car or turn. Okay, for example, they need to either Turn on the electronics and not starting the car to see okay all oh right that's 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 my fuel gauge okay and it's almost empty so okay that's what they do but what if you don't have the key with you what they don't know is you can press i think it's this one but on the trip you press it the car is all off it shows you that it's there and then it can show you the odometer your your mileage of of the car so that's one one nice thing let's do it again see that's how you how you see you don't even you don't even need to turn on the car or the electronics in order to view what what uh, fuel you have or how much fuel you have okay so let's do the rev rev one right um what i'm talking about is the car will basically if you set the limits revving limits to like six thousand it will rev to six thousand and then the the red flashy lights will turn on or beep then you know okay you have to shift now because i I'm, i keep it at seven so i know i rarely touch seven or seven thousand rpm when i drive i don't have to look down then i know okay there's a beeping so beeping sound but this one you need to turn on the car or turn on the electronic you see that's that's where i said okay six thousand eight hundred sorry about that so what you need to do is you just need to press the display button once okay keep pressing it ah there we go limit 6800 so how are you going to change that hold down the display button that's uh, 6000 if i hold it down again it goes to seven and it restarts starts from 28 or 2000 right and i want to set it to seven let's say again hold it down and then if I press it, let's go to the next one from zero. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, because seven, four, fifty is the rev limiter of this car. Let's set it to seven, four, fifty. Oops, seven, four. Okay, never mind, seven, four. Beep on and off, hold it, off, hold it again, on. All right, there's the flashing light. There's the red light. Okay, that's that's the light that turns on and you, and you hear this beeping sound listen to it That's the sound you hear when you reach 7400 rpm Right and that is set. Okay, that's set Okay, next up is the Indicator Your which gear you on the car is off now press the Dometer trip button press it 
there's a few you can see where where your fuel fuel is now okay if you keep pressing it g on gear selection on if you hold it off so when if i'm driving the car now i wouldn't know which gear i'm in oh i mean it won't show which gear you are in of course you know which gear you're in but this computer it won't show which gear you are in but honestly you don't really need it if you know how to drive a manual car you don't really need to know what gear you're in but anyways for those that are that want it on i like it on because it's kind of cool um press it hold it on that's sorted all right so another thing for the high spec cars is uh the push start button so if the key is not around it right if it's not sensing that your key is there and you try to start the car it will show that key green key button it's it now if it's flashing green now it shows that it's picking up or trying to pick it up and if you start the car it will start but if you don't have that thing i think it's flashing yellow if i'm not mistaken that that's when it tells you that oh, okay your there's no key around it so you can't start the car and then yeah the, the clock and stuff like that and then the climate control i'm not going to explain it because not all the cars has this some of them have the older style ones so now let's get to the main point of of this of this thing traction control v s c all right so what are what is trc trc this one is the traction control basically okay and this is the v s c sport if i remember correctly facelift model the new ones or the my 17 models upwards and stuff like that it is a track mode instead of vsc sport so i'll be explaining this a little bit now okay i'm gonna start the car now right okay so during this mode this is the normal mode right for for the guys that doesn't know um normal mode is if you want to do like wheel spin you can't because it's extremely limited the car will uh, throttle back or cut the, the fueling and stuff like that and all your understeer or oversteer it will be corrected so if you want to drive hard on this mode um, the car will kind of save you from slipping or sliding away but if you intentionally want to go slipping and then you still haven't turned off any of the electronic assists you're screwed basically so let's press the traction control button it will see trc off right what this mean is your traction is off you can spin the wheel but the vehicle stability control the vsc is still lurking around in the background so it will still like help you correct the car if you if you go too too basically too too aggressively if you drive too aggressively um and even with this button pressed once it's on the lights it will re-enable over i think 57 kilometers per hour it will turn back to the normal mode so it, the traction control isn't fully off at this mode. Now this mode is the VSC Sport. So with the new one, it's basically the uh, track mode. Okay, VSC gives you more slip before the system kicks in. So it's more for track use. You don't want to. You don't want the car to slide around corners during the track. You still want the car to be in control but you can still push it a little bit. So it can slip a little and still stay in control instead of going straight over steer with this car. And you can still turn on, if you press the traction control button and the VFC together, this thing basically is a combo of both. You can you have more slip, you can have more fun. Um, the car will not interfere as much but it still interferes with your braking and stuff like that if you go too much, if you go too aggressive. 
so it's it's good for tracking basically and now the the main function what a lot of people actually use is if you press and hold the traction control button for three to five seconds one two three four okay about three to four five three four five seconds basically now this means the whole traction control system is off it's completely off but um, the EBD and EBA are still there to, to basically assist you um, e EBD is electronic brake force distribution it is designed to because the car is designed for front brake bias so it will brake the front more than the rear which means you you have a lot of braking force or a lot of braking so in the rear that can be used but uh, what this what this EBD is it helps you distribute between all four wheels so basically it yeah it distributes all the braking forces around the wheel for for better braking in, in a sense if you know what I mean and the uh, EBS uh, is basically just to stop the wheel from locking up and the EBA is electronic brake assist apparently this car has EBA it helps you break in when it comes to an emergency it basically detects how quickly your foot uh, moves from the accelerator pedal to the braking pedal and even if you haven't like foot all the way down to the floor it will help you brake harder in a sense so it's it's kind of cool that we have this kind of feature in, in in the car all right so basically for the final thing that I find with this car is uh, the pedal dance, pedal dance mode, the crazy mode. Uh, what it does is it switches off all the electronic assist controls besides, except the ABS, because it, you don't want your car where you're locking up. But all the assist apparently goes away. So you can do your crazy donuts, crazy drift around the course or whatever, and you can have so much fun with it. But for the pedal dance, um, it's different to holding down the track traction control mode for three to four seconds. But this is more like a, how should I say, a in-game cheat code. Um, apparently, uh, your car needs to be warm at the optimal temperature. But my car is still quite cold, so I, I don't think it's going to activate. But um, what I know is you... What you need to do is uh, for your e-brake, handbrake, right? Uh, you need to hold the button down, pull it three times, and the third time you hold it, then you press the brake pedal three times, and by the third time you press it down and hold it. And then you pull the handbrake again for three times, and third time you hold it as well, and then you press the brake pedal twice, and then this light should come on which indicates that everything is completely off let's give it a try the car is not warm but let's give it give it a try and see if it works okay pulling the handbrake one two three third time holding it brake one two three holding it down handbrake one two three and then brake pedal one two and it didn't work so I'll try that again once the car is warm and see if it works. Okay guys, so um, let's do the secret mode pedal dance. Uh, the car is warm and I'm not sure if this will work but let's give it a try, okay? So basically what it needs to do is pull the handbrake three times, hold on the third, press on the brake three times, hold it down on the third, pull the handbrake again for three times, Hold on the third and then press the brake twice and hold on the second time and then traction these two green lights will come on so let's give it a try and see if it works let's turn off the car and turn it on again okay let's see one two three hold one two three hold one two three hold one two there we go Woo! header dance mode baby it works so 
um, how do you switch it off? If I press the uh, traction control button, it doesn't switch off. Or the VFS or whatever, VSC control button doesn't work. It can only be turned off if you turn off the car and you start it again. That's the only way that you can deactivate pedal dance mode. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something from this video. If I missed some features, please let me know and I'll update you guys in regards to it. Thank you.